Today, friends, my name is Joe Poke, and welcome back to Space Engine. Isn't this beautiful? Um, so, I, I'm i making this, I don't know how many more Space Engine videos I'm going to make, only because they take a while to record, because there's only so much interesting footage that comes out of these, and because I want some variety on the channel. Because, like, half of all of the videos on the channel have been Space Engine videos, which I know a lot of people like, because... 90% of the traffic on the channel is from the Space Engine videos, so that's understandable, but um, I, I do want to do other stuff, you know, try new things and whatnot, so <clears throat> um, I don't really have a plan for today for Space Engine. I usually do, at least for the past few videos I have, so I don't know, let's just try to, you know, explore and stuff. I do want to find a uh, binary planet, but I don't think they're very common, so... No guarantees that I'm going to find one. I, they are really cool. I have found them before. Um, but a few people suggested to try to find one. They're really cool. They are really cool. I have found them. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't think that's one. I'm pretty sure a binary planet is when it's like two planets that are kind of the same uh, size. That are in somewhat of a close orbit around each other. At least I think that's what that is. I could be wrong. Also, while I'm here, did you guys... I, I did not know if I can find it again, which would be a miracle. I didn't know that there was, like, a little galaxy, or multiple little galaxies, like, right near the Milky Way. I was on here a few days ago, and I just I just saw, like, a little smudge. And it was, like, an actual... Like, a, a little galaxy, like, right underneath the Milky Way. Yeah, I had no idea that existed. I'm gonna find it. I think it was called Sag... God, it's so cold right now. I'm freezing. Okay, so uh, it says it, it took me here. I don't see it, though. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Alright, here it is, yeah. Ah, oh, that looks really cool for a second. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, I, I look at the look at that view. That's what I thought was really cool because on some of the planets that don't have a super thick atmosphere, you can actually see this crazy galaxy with this little with this cluster next to it, which is pretty cool. God, it's so cold. I really want to find a binary planet, but like I said, they're pretty. I don't know how common they are. I don't know. I don't know if they're super rare, but I'm pretty sure they're not that common. This planet looks nice. And in the last video, a bunch of people corrected me that this is called the Terminator of the planet, which is cool. Thank you guys so much. As I said in the last video, I'm not an astronomer, so f please feel free to correct me. I also found out that those moons between the rings that I called inter-ring moons, I think. Um, those are actually called uh, shepherd moons, which is interesting. So thank you guys for commenting and uh, smartening me up. So I appreciate it. Well, this is a nice looking planet. I love planets with a thick atmosphere. Cause like, when you come in, it's just, it's cool to see the space just turn into sky as you sink down. This game is so pretty. I feel like it's rare in this game... My voice went really high for a second. I feel like it's rare in this game for, um... Like, there to be clouds. Like, here's some right here. But I feel like... I don't know, I don't see them very often. And they're really nice uh, for screenshots. If you want to take some pretty screenshots from this game. They can be quite nice. These are some of my favorite shots. Stuff like this. I don't know, just, it's so open, like, you can actually, like, explore this whole terrain if you wanted to. Oh, I love this effect with the, I'm pretty sure this is, like, an evaporating planet. Like, it's so close to the sun that it's kind of vaporizing slowly. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. You can actually see, like, the molten rock underneath the surface. That's cool. I don't think I've ever uh, landed on one of these before. Very cool. I just realized how... Okay, what I was about to say before I got a phone call was I... <laughs> this system looks really weird. Like, look at this blue trail. And then this white trail. Oh, wow. Wow. 
So that's an evaporating planet. This one's really interesting with the two trails following it. I don't know what this is though. Oh wow, so that's the... I guess this is an evaporating planet. Well, that's what it looks like from far away. That's interesting. I don't know what gave it that those two trails, though. I don't know if the surface would actually end up being this perfect in nature, but, uh... Hey, I don't know. No. No, 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 no. So, the game just crashed. Um... Yay! Now I lost that really cool evaporating planet system that I just found. So now we're gonna have to find something else interesting. I, it was really cool though, I, I landed on the planet, and right when I landed on the planet, it just totally crashed, so... Awesome. Reliable as always. This system has 17 planets and 4 of them with life, that's pretty... rare. This is an interesting planet. Supposedly this has multicellular life. Um, what did it say? Terrestrial and marine, I believe. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but the music is so weird for this planet. I don't know, I feel like the music should be mysterious or something, but it's so, like, peppy. It's pretty funny. Oh look, this planet has half a hurricane. Another titan with life. This has exotic multicellular life. Interesting. Okay, this one we have three quarters of a hurricane and about two thirds of a hurricane. It's a very stormy planet. I love planets with rings. I don't know if we've checked out uh, a nice planet with rings yet. Well, here we are. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is a nice planet with rings, actually. Wow, look at those rings. That is very pretty. Whoa. This planet has pixelated terrain. And that's the first time I've ever seen, like, a pixely uh, terrain thing. I, I'm sure it's a bug, but I've never actually seen, like, a bug like that before. Usually the terrains have been pretty, like, well generated. So that's interesting. It's a cool color scheme, though. Sorry I'm jumping around so much, I just feel like there's not a whole lot uh, to do and say with most of this stuff. I'm just clicking on stars and jumping around, basically. This is a cool little crater. Let's go to this desert now. Because I'm just jumping all over this little... I'm still in Sagittarius, I think, right? Yeah. You can tell by that view. Right, this is supposedly a temperate desert. Meaning the temperatures are okay for life, I guess. So that's cool. There's no life on it, but... What's that? Oh, it's the Milky Way. Oh wow, it's so faint. You can only see, like, the middle when you're that far up. Let's go see that again. Oh, that's so cool. That's actually... I think that's the middle of the galaxy, right? Yeah. That's int That's really cool. You can watch it, like, fade out and fade in as you enter the atmosphere. I want to do that again. Now you see the Milky Way. Now you don't. That's pretty cool. So in the comments, let me know if you're excited for No Man's Sky, because I am. Sorry, I couldn't... I couldn't not mention it in a Space Engine video. Oh my god, I'm still cold. So cold. So cold. God, I'm sorry if this video is boring. I don't know what else to do. Ooh, you know what I could do? I haven't done this yet. Let's zoom out a little bit. Is that the star? No. Now if we hit O. Ooh, look at that. We can see the orbits. I haven't done this yet. A lot of people in the comments actually suggested that I do this. I'm not sure what the purpose is, besides obviously seeing the orbits, but... I don't know, it is pretty cool. Oh, you can actually see the stars. Uh, that's the Barry Center, I guess. Oh, that's another star. Wait, what? No, I guess that's the, the Barry Center. I think it's called Barry Center, right? 
I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Feel please correct me in the comments. I'd, I'd love that. Whoa, when you fast forward time, I don't know why it's shaking like this, but... You can see the, the stars orbit each other, and you can see the, the planets rotate. I don't know why it's so shaky, though. Oh, maybe because I was on... Focused on a planet instead of a star. Let's try focusing on a... On the star. Okay, now let's try. There we go, now it's not shaky. That's so cool. Now I'm focused on this star, so everything seems like it's rotating around that star. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Tomorrow, or no, not tomorrow, two days from now, I will have a new video up and I'm going to be doing Universe Sandbox. I just bought that game a few days ago. It's really cool. I haven't done anything in it, though, because I want to save it for the video. So it's a first-time experience. Um, but it, it is really cool from what I know of it. I'm looking forward to giving that a whirl. I don't know why this reminded me of it, but... <laughs> hmm, I still have a lot more time. Let's see. I'd really love to find... Are you kidding me? Two times in one video? Ooh, is this a binary planet? I think I might have found one, guys. Can we save this video with a binary planet, please? I don't know. Ooh, is this one? I don't know if this... No, it's, I don't think it's one. I think it's just a moon. Bummer. It's kind of close, though. This is a cool-looking planet, though. It's like purple. But like a, a magenta, I guess you could call it. Whoa. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is a binary planet. That is really cool, though, to see that. Let me know if this is a binary planet or not. I'm still gonna look for another one because I still have some. I still have some time. So this might be one. Let's go see what it looks like from this planet. I found a binary planet once before, at least I think it was a binary planet. I didn't know that that's what it was called when I found it, but it was um, two planets like super close together and, and about the same size. I'll put a screenshot up right now. I used this as a wallpaper for like a really long time, just because of how nice it looked. It looked like something straight out of a sci-fi novel or something, but um, I'm not sure if this is one, because they are, that one is kind of smaller than this one. And I'm not sure if they're orbiting around each other. I can actually check. Can I? Let me focus on the... No, I don't think I can check. Let's see if we can see the orbits. Yeah, this one is orbiting... Oh, I guess they're kind of... No, this one... This one... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This one is orbiting... I think that's a Barry Center. Yeah, it is a Barry Center. So I guess they may be considered binary planets. If they have a Barry Center, but... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a barrier center is just anything that is something is orbiting around. I honestly don't know. This is all way beyond me. This is all maths that I'm not familiar with. So, don't quote me. Please correct me in the comments, though. Like I said, I'd love to know the right answers to these questions. I feel really weird now that I, if I've been saying the word, that Barry center word wrong, I feel like I'm going to sound like a complete idiot. But, um, I guess that's the price you pay. I don't know. Um, I hope that's how you pronounce it. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. What is it? Barai Center? Bari Center? Ooh, these two frozen titans are like... They look almost identical. They might be binary. Are they close? Oh, they're not that close. Let's check the orbits. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Man, I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe these are binary. They're not that close, though. Let's speed up some time a little bit. Maybe we can get them to become really close together or something. Yeah, I think they're binary. This, this looks like a binary motion. If I were to, to guess what a binary motion would look like, it's that they're both or orbiting around each other, right? Right? I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to sound smart, guys. I'm surprised I didn't use that before. The orbit thing is pretty cool, actually. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Now I understand your... Why you guys wanted to see that so much. Alright, one more planet, then I have to go. But I'm hoping... 
I want it to be a good one. Let's find something like a true binary planet. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Somebody in the comments said that that's what I'm going off of. Um, so... I hope they're even called binary planets at this point. Whoa, I don't know if these two are binary, but this is a really cool looking system. Ooh. That slow pan out looks really nice. Oh. Yeah, I don't think they're binary. This one's super tiny compared to this gigantic ocean planet. Oceana. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end it on this shot right here. That's a nice looking shot. I saved it as a... So I can use it as a wallpaper maybe. Or just a, a pretty space engine picture. I am freezing. It is so cold. Um, in this room right now. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.